My name is Rachel Afi Quinn. I'm the postdoctoral fellow in women's gender and sexuality studies at the University of Houston. <laughs> The Women's Gender and Sexuality Studies program offers fellowships, research grants, scholarships for undergraduates and graduate students. I teach Intro to Women's Studies. We're attracting more and more students every semester. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> I'm Maria Corsi, and I'm one of the graduate assistants in the Women's Gender and Sexuality Studies program at U of H. The 25 courses that we offer each semester are going to give students kind of unique ways of understanding how gender influences our world, how it influences policy making. Gender is something that we live with every day, whether you're a man or a woman. Women's Studies has been around at the University of Houston for over 20 years and will soon become a major, which will be great because we'll be able to reach many more students and will become a much larger presence on campus. I took a camera crew on campus at the University of Houston. I asked a lot of students whether or not they identified as feminists. Not so many did. I don't know if I'm a feminist. I'm not at all. Probably yes. I'm not a girl. Uh, I guess so, yeah. I would say I'm a feminist. Others didn't really know what feminism was. Feminists tend to be associated with extremists these days. That's not it. It's just a fight for equality. I think a feminist is a woman who... Understanding your rights and the rights of other women. Some of the things I asked students were, how would you convince someone to take an Intro to Women's Studies class? It's just something that will help you broaden your own beliefs. It's offering a new perspective on something you wouldn't have seen before, and I think it's really great. This one's tricky. Who's your favorite transnational feminist theorist? That sounds like a tough one. Okay, that's a problem. <laughs> Elizabeth Cady Stanton. Nice. Marge Simpson. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you didn't know, she's actually a transnational um, feminist. Yeah, maybe surprising was the one student when we asked him what he thought was taught on the first day of a women's studies class, and he said, birth. How is taking intro to women's gender and sexuality studies going to help you personally? Well, I learned about patriarchy, intersectionality, sexuality. I think women still don't get paid as equally as men do, and it's not fair. What we perceive the world as, as far from a man's standpoint, and, you know, the feminist movement is really just kind of like an equal balance between man and woman. With us being dudes, we might not understand the side, all the sides by learning more about women. Maybe you'll get along with them better. I think it's great. I think when you go to university, you're here to gain knowledge. Especially as a woman, it really helps me, help me expand upon knowledge I didn't know about. We were able to introduce them to women's gender and sexuality studies and hopefully they'll spread the word. We think about gender in new ways and get students thinking beyond a binary of male and female. When you're looking at history through a lens of gender, it adds to the dimensions that you're able to explain to students. I'm Tracy Butler and I am a graduate assistant for the Women's Gender and Sexuality Studies at the University of Houston. <laughs> For any student, I think women's studies and gender studies is really important because it's not just about content. It helps to inform the way that you think about your own personal life, the way that you interact with other people, and that's important for any job. The Women's Gender and Sexuality Studies program at the University of Houston gives students the knowledge and tools to imagine and enact a better world for all. Join Friends of Women's Studies and help support the Women's Gender and Sexuality Studies program at the University of Houston. Ha <laughs> ha!